Well, there you have it. Texting the broker now, see what he wants us to do. This puts us in a terrible spot. they got here the more their plastic got messed up. Yellow was first, this plastic's massacre. <laughs> White truck Matt, second his plastic's a little messed up. Ours is perfect bro.
said he's got uh, over 900,000 miles on that. It's a 2011. He hasn't had any injector problems. Oh, yeah. He's got it turned up a little bit. But I was like, damn, you were pulling us on that hill. It's like, there's no way my Mac would do that. get over there where you're at. I wonder if he can get around me. still going I, think I forgot this thing going um, there's five other trucks back there with these on there right now uh, back there or back, there? back this way so we have to pull up and then we have to back around the building oh, yeah. uh, and another truck just showed up behind us Get back, get back. Fat butts. So, there's a hot shotter back there. Subscriber back there, by the way. It was on the Black Dodge. Yeah. They were weirded out about his trailer because he had like these this metal grate on top of his uh on top of his uh. You see guys back in there? You see them pull over there? Yeah, pro. Well, yeah, probably. Yeah. To start backing, yeah. yeah. This is a shit show. Well, I've seen worse, but yeah, this usually when you have a lot of trucks going to place. Look at all of them sitting here empty looking for loads now. That's why I'm very, very proactive on the board. As soon as whatever we're picking up hits the deck. 
because I try to avoid that as much as possible. The crazy thing is, so they sent these back because these came from this place and they sent them back because they set these things directly on the ground and then when it rained, it filled those plastic bags up with water and rusted the bottoms out of all of them. So they have to send them back, strip them down, either replace the metal or sandblast the metal and repaint it or whatever, and then send it back. But they're already sending some back, which was what all those hot shots were here for. They were sending the hot shots back. So. Um, it's just a nightmare. And then they have that crane there rented. And the guy that's, that's with the crane, he's like, I don't know why they don't have me helping unload. They're paying me by the day to sit here. They should have me helping unload. And he's like, it doesn't make any sense that they're unloading them in the building. And then they're using the forklifts to move them over there anyways. He's like, I could use the crane here to unload them. And then they could just take the forklifts and move them over there anyways. He said he's got 20 days left with that crane company is he? and he's done. Oh yeah. Yep. I don't know what he's gonna do afterwards, but we got down two hours to go pick up this bus. They made a mistake on the Raycon. They said that we were gonna pick up this bus today and have it drop by four o'clock today. That, that would be impossible. Even if I did pick it up at 10. Ugh. trying to figure out how do we fix this industry what do we have to do the guy in the Mac he took he went down the wrong road too but the guy in the yellow truck he said his broker let him know yeah. not to go down okay. and they and they gave him a number to call uh, this place this place and the other place well, we had a number for the other place. oh but yeah he had a number for this place too like they didn't give us they didn't give us a number uh, our broker acted like he didn't even know there was a road you couldn't go. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's crazy because the guy in the yellow truck what is using the same broker right. like and his broker let him know. So it was like multiple brokers in the same, I don't know, the guy in the mat got screwed. He got screwed out of $500 on this load. Wild. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have came up here for a thousand fifty bucks. We got fifteen fifty for this. Which was a great rate. Even that the guy in the single axle little thing there got fifteen fifty, I think. Ugh. Alright. Again. See you guys in two hours. Let's go get a bus.
talked about this load. But uh, supposedly this load is a a high priority. They needed us to hurry up and get here. They gave us some numbers to some people that don't even have anything to do with this. Who you honking at, homie? Um, it took Lee to call in pretty much all morning long to get a hold of somebody, only to find out that if we would have punched in the address that they gave us, uh, we wouldn't have been able to get here because there's a bridge out. So they gave us another address, which led us to a road where they told us to go down. And I guess this bus that we're picking up now won't start. Yeah, he said he might have to call a mechanic or something because it won't crank over. So uh, we have to call the broker. Yeah, they're gonna have to pay for this. It takes too long. Is this a dispatch service? Yeah, I don't need a dispatch. I, I don't need a dispatcher. Are you still there? Yeah. So. And then you're going to text me. Same person? Yep. It's uh, 10 after 1 now. Still no word. Still no word. Looked on the load board to see if we could find something else. If we could just leave here and say, pay me for wasting my time. This this is even worse. This is worser than where we were. This is uh, one of those solar farms. Those places those places where the government wastes tax dollars and lots and lots of land. Whew. He's been talking to you. I put on speaker. Have any other numbers? I wonder if that's the bus over there. I don't know. Uh, yes, hey, this is Robert with the South Georgia Hotshot. Hey, Robert. Hey, boss. We are uh, picking up for you in Crystal Hill, Virginia, going to Rome, Georgia. Mm -hmm. um, the last we talked to our point of contact, uh, they couldn't get the bus started. Um, and they yeah. said that they were going to go to lunch and that they would be calling us back at around one o'clock. And now we can't get anybody to answer the phones. That's not good. All right. Well, let me email these guys and see if there's another person we can call. Um, yeah. Let me. Uh, I'll see if there's anyone. Okay. Okay, thank you. Hey, ma'am, how are you? Good, how are you? Carol. Good news, we got bad news. What do you want? I don't know. I guess the good news. Good news is Mr. Jones has tried everything he can to help you. Yeah. That's me.
I understand. I'll just have to let the broker lo uh, broker know that. Alright, y'all do whatever you need to on your end. I just want to give you a heads up on it. Okay, thank you. Alright, you're out front still? Uh, so we're parked in front of the, the power plant that's got the fence okay. around it. Okay, okay, cool deal. Alright, well thank you much, ma'am. Thanks, bye. Well, there you have it. Texting the broker now, see what he wants us to do. This puts us in a terrible spot. Terrible. We'd have been better off up where we were. Hello? Hello, yeah, hey, this is Robert. South George Hotshot. Hey, hey, Robert. Hey. Name, Robert. I'm sorry? What's your name? Uh, they can't get the buses started. I, I texted you. I'm sorry? They still can't, huh? Still can't get them running. Uh, they're going to have to send out a mechanic, he said. So I don't know. Yeah, so I don't. He said it's not going to happen today, then. I, I don't know what he meant by that. He's like, do you want the good news or the bad news? And uh, we're like, okay, I guess the good news. He's like, well, I've done everything I can for you today. And then he's like, the bad news is we need a mechanic. I'm like, that's not how the game plays. <laughs> From United Rounds. Okay, so, but they're not, it's not happening today, it's happening tomorrow. I tried calling the guy, but he didn't answer me, so I couldn't even talk to him. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. It's uh, I guess he's waiting on United Rental. I don't know if he knows himself. Y'all probably wasting your time, or I just hung up with some guy from Pro Illinois, I think. Probably the broker. Yeah. Um, he's asking got, me if I have jumper cables. I'm like, yeah. I don't think it's a jumper cable thing. Right. It's the bus has been sitting over here for a couple of days. I've got a, my mechanic came and looked at it, yeah. and he can't get it cranked. He's running around all crazy as well. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a couple of, I don't know. I called United Rental. United Rental's got, it's their equipment. So they're going to send out their mechanic here today or tomorrow. I don't know. So no word from the broker yet. Uh, we can't sit around, man. We've got to, uh, if we're going to go park somewhere, we need to, we need to find a parking spot. Sucks, man. This uh, this cost us a whole fucking day. Whole day. An entire day. <sighs> Look at all of them sitting here empty, looking for loads now. That's why I'm very, very proactive on the board. One going down to Jacksonville. I mean, the pay is decent, but uh, Lita's afraid if we go down to Jacksonville and we don't find a load, Big Daddy's gonna go to the house, and she would be right because I would. I'm tired of playing these games out here, man. I am tired and tired of playing these games. All right, where do we go, woman? I don't know. I thought you had a truck stop question. No. Well, we went down the uh, road about uh, 30 minutes to a uh, pilot here with uh, absolutely terrible reviews. The, uh, the bathrooms are supposed to be dirty. The showers are supposed to be disgusting. But uh, there's nothing around here. This is like the only, uh, only thing worth, uh, or I should say the only thing close. Um, broker called me up and asked me, uh, if I would be willing to uh, let them pay me to sit here tonight and go get the bus in the morning when they get the bus started. And I honestly don't have an option, man. Like, freight around here is really, really bad. So I told him, I mean, I don't have another load. So I told him 500 bucks to sit for the night and I'll go back in the morning and pick up the bus. So he's supposed to be checking in on some things. 
and he seems like a really cool guy like I don't think it's uh I don't think it's a broker issue here um he's gonna finagle some numbers for me so that uh, we can get paid more for our detention time and I don't know we'll have to see um, I guess there was another truck there the whole time too I guess there's two buses and uh, there was another truck there somewhere uh, trying to pick up the other bus so I don't know what's gonna happen with that it's a decent sized parking lot with a all that over there is reserved all this over here is free and uh, they got a Bojangles and everything in there is supposed to be gross so we'll probably be cooking in the truck I, I know we'll be cooking in the truck unless there's something within walking distance that's not in pilot or uh, maybe we can uber eat something I don't I don't know if we have any food in the truck I don't know what she did for grocery shopping there at the uh, that grocery store where we unloaded those two vehicles they had some really good deals in there or some good prices I, I should say let's go in here guys come on come on run 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 lead is packing up her bag so we can go take a shower even though the showers are gross um, I'm sure I'm even worse so I don't know if it's bad I'll show you guys what it looks like and I'm thinking if it's bad read through all the reviews I'm probably just gonna make like a formal complaint in there because we shouldn't have to put up with this stuff man we're uh, we're out here on the road away from our families paying uh, 465 a gallon for diesel thirteen dollars and fifty cents for uh, scales and uh, the least you can do is have your lazy employees do their job that's what the reviews were saying like all the all the employees just kind of stand around and don't do anything so I don't know there's a Hitachi place right over there don't they make drills and stuff I don't know all right anyways we'll uh we'll see you guys later if not thanks for watching see you uh, we'll see you tomorrow all right just got back from the showers they weren't too bad it wasn't bad we've we've definitely had worse I thought it was fairly clean heard from the broker though they're only gonna give us uh, 200 I think he said two hundred seventy dollars worth of detention and they're not gonna pay us to uh, run the buses double check that have you checked to see if he sent it No. let me see here I don't know I don't know how to see it on my phone Ah, oh, so that sucks. We're in a really bad place right here. We're in a really bad place. We would have been better off up where we were. Sometimes you just can't win. I told myself I was going to be super positive this week and so far. And it's, it's hard to stay positive. Doesn't matter how proactive you are, man, looking for loads. Like I always say, it's not your load until it's on the deck. Uh, I almost got over ambitious and, and booked us one from Rome, Georgia. I was looking at a lot from Rome, Georgia, and I'm like, man, second this thing hits the deck, man, I'm gonna start making phone calls. But I almost called before it hit the deck, so. I don't know. 544 right now I guess I'll I'll keep an eye on the board but we're we're pretty much done till the morning so guess we'll see y'all later thanks for watching